I want to show you how to trigger a outbound call via Zapier with our tool. So let's start with the first step. You need to create an assistant. You need to create an assistant and show you, you will need to pick up an outbound type of assistant. Click on it. You do the configurations as they are or keep them. You click next. You change the prompt or not. You click next. You'll be prompted to attach a phone number. This is an important step. You cannot uh, link this agent with Zapier if it doesn't have a phone number. So you pick a phone number, you add the maximum daily budget, and then you click this checkbox. Then afterwards, you see this view here. You then can click to deployment and go to the Zapier tab. Under Zapier tab, you will see the phone number and the max daily budget. There are also a couple of things. You can create a Zap directly from here, or you can open a new page and create a Zap from there. I'm just going to use a new page because it's easier to show it off for you guys. So the first step is to add a trigger, which is a simple trigger. You can add anything you want to have here. It could be a CSV. It could be a form like tally, uh, or let's look something else what you can have here. It could be type form. It could be a Facebook form. Leads ads, or, yeah, it's a leads ads, or anywhere, or even a CRM. You can have a CRM like HubSpot, sorry, HubSpot, uh, or Zoho. I think we have that as well here. Uh, and you can Zoho Forks and so on. You can have this, add it here, and this is where you're going to get the phone number and the lead uh, details. So, what's important to know then you're going to have to add. Synflow app. So you just go here, add Synflow, right? You'll see only one. I'm an admin, that's why I see multiples. And the event that you want to pick up here is voice make a phone call. Then you click continue. Here you will need to add your API key. The API key you can find is you go here, you go uh, iterate integrations here and you copy one of your API keys or create a new one. You have multiple forms. Then we go back to the, this is the one. Let me rename it to not forget outbound zap demo. Then what you can do, what you need to do is to copy the model ID. You can copy the model ID either from here or either from here. It doesn't matter. Also, you have the API key here. So copy the model ID from here. You continue and you will have to pay to paste the model ID here. Paste the model ID here. The phone number here I, is my phone number, but for example, I can pick up the phone number for the spreadsheet, which is basically the same of my phone number. The name, you can have the name here if I have it's dummy2, yeah, but it's my name, it's from the spreadsheet. You just map out the inputs from the previous step here. Custom variables are the same custom variables that we have on our app, but to pass those, you need to ensure that uh, the app has custom variables. So for example, here we can have something like, hey, hey, lead name, how are you? Now the variable has been passed and loaded here. What you're going to have, you have to add this here as well. The important part is to add it without the brackets. And here you're going to pass the name again, and this is it. This is uh, how you set it up. You click continue, and you'll have to test the app. Let's test it together. Now it's loading, and I should receive a phone call. Let's wait a second. I'm receiving the phone call. website about buying or renting do you have a all right so it starts and, and it works now what you're going to have to do let me copy this for now you're going to have here and add a new action you're going to add again Synflow. but this time what you're going to choose here in the event it's going to be voice get phone call this will allow you to capture the data uh, that was sent Capture it here. So you can have all the transcript and the 
other information about the code. Then you connect your account, you don't have to do it in nine times, and you, here you have to add the call ID. Uh, and to make it properly, what you're going to add, you need to go here into the voice make phone call in number two and add a response call ID. I have an example which I want to test, so uh, I'm going to keep this one. So here you will click test step and you should be able to find out the call information you picked up here previously. So the call status, the lead name, the lead phone number, uh, time zone, I had uh, a calendar here. Also execution logs, if I've uh, used extra information extraction and so on, they're here, was the information and so on. Then you can use this information and send it somewhere else. So for example, uh, subject, send the email to me, uh, let's go see body, here in the body, you can do some a couple of things. You're going to select the number three and you can able to select like uh, here, executed actions, call ID, how, how long it was, the call transcript if you want, and so on. I can also show you an interesting way of doing something. Let me see if I have it open. Uh, set prompt. Well, I don't have it logged in, but what you can do here is connect your GPT or even uh, I know uh, Zapier has a native GPT, uh, how it was called. It's called AI by Zapier. And here, what you can do is parse any data from free from text, and you can add which you can add the transcript here and choose how to parse it. And you can extract some specific information out of it. But that would be better to do it with information data extraction. Thank you.